Okay, now the cost of mental ill health in the workplace. First of all, what are the obvious ones? Uh, presenteeism, which is where people are showing up at work, but they're not all there. They're not able to perform. The lights are on, but no one's home. They might be uh, sitting on Facebook all day. Sorry, Facebook. <laughs> uh, so they're present, but they're not really producing. Absenteeism. The other one that it's sometimes difficult to put a measure on, but conflict, HR issues, the team dynamics and, and the time and the energy and the effort that gets spent on dealing with all of those issues. When, I mean, when people are stressed, we all respond differently, but one of the common ones is we get irritated. We, we might say something that we wouldn't normally say to someone. Um, so, so all of those things come together and create a downward spiral, unfortunately. And that's what we want to do is change it around. And it's, it's complex, but there are simple things that managers can do as well. And that's what we yeah, share. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. In terms of, of, of the, the impact on workplaces, we know from the research also that stressed out people are more likely to uh, complain of harassment and bullying. Mm. So um, we talked to a, I talked to a director of HR once and, and she said up to 70% of the problems that we have in HR, I think, have got a mental health issue behind them. 70%. Mm. 